Hi, I'm Mia. I want to tell you about the time I confronted my bully, and it changed my life. It all started in my freshman year at Hawthorne High School. I had always been a shy, introverted girl, which made me an easy target for my bully Lexi. Lexi was the school's queen bee, and she always had a group of followers around her. She was smart, athletic, and beautiful, which made it difficult for others to stand up to her. For me, it was even more challenging. I was a bookworm, and I spent most of my time in the school library or at home, reading or writing stories. My only friends were Abby and Oliver, who shared my love of books. One day, while Abby, Oliver, and I were eating lunch together in the cafeteria, Lexi and her friends walked over to our table. Lexi sneered at us and said, Well, if it isn't the little bookworm club. What are you guys discussing today? How to be even more pathetic and boring. I could feel my cheeks turning red and my hands were shaking. Abby tried to stand up for us, saying, Leave us alone, Lexi. We're not bothering you. But Lexi just laughed and said, Oh, I'm just curious about what you losers do for fun. Do you read to each other and act out the scenes? How adorable. Oliver, always the peacemaker, tried to defuse the situation. Lexi, we're just eating lunch and talking. There's no need for anyone to be upset. Lexi raised an eyebrow and smirked. Oh, Mia, you got yourself a little defender. How sweet. But I bet even he wouldn't be able to protect you if something were to happen to your precious books. With that, Lexi grabbed my backpack, which had my favorite books inside, and dumped it all over the cafeteria floor. I was mortified. I could feel tears welling up in my eyes as I tried to gather my books. Lexi just laughed and walked away with her friends, leaving us to pick up the mess. I felt so small and powerless. Abby and Oliver tried to console me, but I just couldn't shake the feeling of humiliation. That night, as I lay in bed, I decided that I couldn't let Lexi continue to bully me. I had to find a way to stand up to her, to show her that I wasn't just a weak little bookworm. But how could I do that? I was shy and had always avoided confrontation. The thought of facing Lexi made my stomach churn. The next day at school, I decided to seek help. I went to the school counselor, Miss Thompson, and told her about my situation with Lexi. She listened carefully and then said, Mia, standing up to a bully takes courage, but you don't have to do it alone. Let's see if we can find a way to help you feel more confident and assertive. Miss Thompson suggested that I join a club or activity where I could learn new skills and meet new people. She thought that by gaining more confidence, I would be better equipped to stand up to Lexi. I decided to give it a try and joined the drama club. At first, I was nervous and unsure of myself. But over time, as I learned to act and perform in front of others, I started to feel more confident. I even made new friends in the drama club, like Emily and Jack, who encouraged me and helped me come out of my shell. Slowly, I began to feel more comfortable with myself and the idea of confronting Lexi. One day after drama club practice, I was walking down the hallway with Emily and Jack when we saw Lexi and her friends approaching us. I felt my heart race, but I knew that I couldn't let her intimidate me anymore. As Lexi came closer, she looked at me and sneered, Oh look, the little bookworm has some new friends. Are you guys helping her practice her lines? How pathetic. Before I could respond, Emily stepped forward and said, Lexi, we're just trying to get to class. Why don't you leave us alone? Lexi scoffed, Please, I just wanted to see if Mia had finally grown a backbone. Guess not. I took a deep breath, feeling the newfound confidence I had gained from the drama club. I looked Lexi straight in the eyes and said, Actually, Lexi, I have. I'm tired of you bullying me and my friends. You don't scare me anymore. Lexi looked surprised and angry. She tried to regain control of the situation by saying, Well, Mia, it's about time you grew a spine. But don't think you can talk back to me without consequences. She lunged forward, trying to push me against the lockers. But this time, I was prepared. I sidestepped her and she stumbled, losing her balance. As she tried to regain her footing, I said, Lexi, you can't control me or my friends anymore. We're not afraid of you. Her face turned red and she glared at me, but she didn't say anything. Instead, she turned and walked away with her friends, leaving us alone in the hallway. Emily and Jack looked at me amazed. Mia, that was incredible. Emily exclaimed. I've never seen anyone stand up to Lexi like that before. Jack nodded in agreement. You were so brave, Mia. I'm proud of you. I smiled, feeling a sense of pride and accomplishment that I had never experienced before. It wasn't just about standing up to Lexi. 
It was about finding my inner strength and realizing that I was capable of so much more than I had ever imagined. The following weeks were a turning point for me. Not only did Lexi stop bullying me and my friends, but I also began to take on more prominent roles in the drama club, pushing myself to be more outgoing and assertive. My friendships with Abby, Oliver, Emily, and Jack grew stronger, and we became an inseparable group. We even started a book club together, combining our love for reading and our newfound confidence. As for Lexi, she eventually lost her status as the Queen Bee. Other students began to see her for who she truly was, a bully who thrived on making others feel small. She was no longer the powerful, untouchable figure she once was.